I'm Martin Manette. And I'm Ryan Mariotti. And we are doing the GoPro wireless app test with, on an iPad. Marty's gonna get me to walk across this treacherous boardwalk and we're gonna do a distance test and see how long it lasts. So with the, uh, the Hero 3, I actually have two ways to control it wirelessly. You can do it with the iPad, which gives you a nice full frame preview, or you can use the remote. But with this, I can do full control. I can start recording. Uh, for some reason though, uh, preview while recording is not supported yet. No signal. Is it? Yeah. Is the camera still recording? Yeah, no signal. Stop right there. I'll just maybe, might take a, a little a few seconds for it to reconnect. Oh, and now we uh, got connection back. Now the great thing about this is you got access to all your settings. And there's setting menus, so you can change, uh, you can change everything, video resolution, uh, frame rate, uh, field of view. You can also switch between the different modes using either your iPad, which is what we're using right here, or you can use an iPhone and it's also available on Android devices and you can change all your settings. Uh, you can also locate the camera. Oh, it's beeping. Which, uh... That'd be really handy in a multi-cam situation where you have a whole bunch of cameras set up and you wanna know which one you're looking at. Yeah, so right now, uh, this does not support multi-camera, but I believe it will be a feature that'll be coming up. Uh, then you can also switch between video mode, photo mode and, if I go, and you can also enable disable the preview if I go back and I press and it'll take the picture oh. and as you can see the leg is about three seconds so for pro use not the most you know satisfactory but something else need to is it will transmit sound through your iPad so if you got this thing set up a little far off distance and you have say somebody talking to it, the sound, I don't know if the sound will be cool. captured in that, but it will transmit to this. To be honest, the range isn't great. Yeah, the range isn't great either, but. So in close quarters situation, it's, it's pretty fine useful, right? for framing, but you're still maybe want to invest into the LCD backpack because then you can actually use the camera in real time, see your picture and do a proper framing. Overall, Really cool app. It has a lot of uh, it has a lot of room for improvements, but in in a close distance situation, it's uh, it's definitely useful. <laughs>